Hey everyone, my name's Silver, and welcome back to the channel, and yes, this is my new channel icon. I, I really hope that you guys like it, because it's awesome, and I love it. But guys, we're here for a video covering set 14, which, just in case you don't know, is Divine Dragon Ap Apocrypha, I can't say that, it's Divine Dragon, that's all that matters. It's coming out in English March 9th, 2018, and in... Japanese February 23rd 2018 so guys I'm super excited for this set and I'm also super disappointed with this set I'm gonna get to the disappointed part in a second I'm gonna go over why I'm excited so so far we have three Z rares two new generation rares nine triple rares three 13 double rares 24 single rares and 49 commons plus 12 parallel art cards or the SPs 97 of these cards will be new, so that's a good chunk of all of this. And then three of them are reprints, which is, as you know, we get, we're get we getting a reprint of this wonderful guy. A stealth, uh, Riku Stealth Dragon, which was like $50 just for its base rarity at one point. Its skill isn't too great, but here it is. It's Counter Blast 2. Choose a card face down from your and Turn face up. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, your opponent chooses four cards from his or her hand and binds the rest. At end of turn, your opponent puts the card back, bound with this effect back into your hand. So good card overall. We're also getting the new Alt Mile as a triple as a reprint. So we'll have the Brave Alt Mile at a very cheap cost. We're also going to get another Dragwiz reprint, which is really good because we only had the uh, printed editions here in set 9, which made him stupidly overpriced, but he's a staple for Luar decks. But yeah, so going over that, we're going to talk about more about set 9. We're also going to get, there. each pack includes 7 cards with 2 being single rare or greater. Some packs will include two double rares or one triple rare plus one double rare, but never two triple rares. So that is always good to know. Um, we also have a special Giza pack. It is also included with six, um, six secret rare cards, one copy of our dragon dis, dis, of our dragon deity of destruction Giza. Um, include the set will include future support for Royal Paladin, Shadow Paladin, Genesis. New Baton, Dark Ego, and Gear Chronicle. I've gone over this before. We just went over these reprints, and my phone went off. That was weird. Sorry, guys. Um, pack illustration is obviously this, this, and this are Xeroth Dragons. And this is what I was excited for, but when I read it closer, I realized how much Bushiro is boning us. Bushiro, please stop. So, guys, if you don't know what these two cards are, they're literally these unique cards that were printed in a Japanese promo box that you got a whole bunch of unique stuff. And their sales are pretty good. They're they're pretty popular in decks right now. This is Mast, uh, Masquerade Master Harry. Counter Blast 1. Choose a card face down from your G-Zone with the same name as this unit. Turn it face up. Choose two cards from... Choose two cards from... your other circle your other circles and put them into soul when this unit attacks you may pay the cost if you do choose three cards from your soul call them to separate regards and at end of turn put them into soul continuous vanguard all your regards with the maggie ability get plus 3k for each face up card with harry in its name in your g zone why is this bad well first off they're giving you one in every box you pre-order but you also have to compete with this so wh why is this bad well the the master right here uses one of herself let's go over the pirate king here pirate king of rose twilight night rose and let's see counter blast one choose a copy of it turn to face up choose up to the number of cards in your dress zone equal to the number of cards face up in your G's and call them to separate regards as hollowed. If you have three or more unit, if you if you call three or more, this unit gets plus one crit. At the beginning of your battle phase, choose choose one of your units for each of your night roses in your G in your in, in its name in your drop zone, and they and they get five k. 
So, you need to, you don't need for its secondary skill to have a Night Rose face up, but you need to pay the cost. So, you gotta buy minimum two boxes and hope that in both boxes you get two of each. And being that this is a promo and you're getting one of each, you're running a 50 50 shot here. Which is going to make this card overpriced instead of releasing us a promo box that we could spend like $45 on to get a place out of these and to get other things. No, instead they have to make it here. And Japan's basically getting a secondary print of it because they've already had it. I've already gone over a few things in this set as well. But yeah, I'm just, I'm disappointed Bushiro, literally. You could have done anything to get us these cards. There's not even support for these cards in this set. Like, literally. You're, you're just literally throwing us cards that people are going to buy cases of. And literally just get eight copies of each. And sell them for a ridiculous price. And it's just not going to be fun for anyone. But, with that being said. I'm not going to end the video here. There's one other unit I'd like to go over. And that is one who hunts souls, Balam. And he has a pretty unique skill. I actually really like him. Counter blast one. Choose a card. Face down with your Jesus, known as the same name as this in turn. Okay, so choose one of your opponents or your guards. Retire it until end of turn. This unit's increase. Retire until end of turn. Increase this un unit's power by the power of the retired of the retired card, and it gets plus one drive. Then Soul Charge 2 by the grade of the retired unit. So I think that's, if it's a grade 2, Soul Charge 4. If it's a grade 3, Soul Charge 6. If it's a grade 0, Soul Charge 0. Because I think that's how that works. Or maybe it's just 2, I don't know. And then its Generation Break 3 skill is if the number of cards in your soul is 13 or more, your opponent cannot call grade 1s from a hand to guard circle that's not during the battle that's just the entire turn but I do honestly like the artwork for this card it was pretty cool in the anime and guys it was in my episode review which I did do last night which is something I was gonna cover in a separate video called I'm worried but I'm not gonna cover it in a separate video cuz we're at like seven minutes so we can sort of go over this that's sort of the K set 13 I'm trying to there we go there we go so guys as you can see here 24 views has happened in the past 17 hours and any of the any of you that have been following my channel for a while now know that most of my view mo, a good majority of my views come in the first 24 hours for these videos and it hasn't so why didn't it come in in the first 24 hours well I didn't post on Saturday night and I think that was sort of the key reason why all these videos for four plus weeks have been posted on um, Saturday night and then I do another video or two throughout the week and that's where they gained momentum I was away Saturday night spending time with my girlfriend and her family so I wasn't able to actually watch and record and upload this I did it last night but I'm not worried I'll do it again next week and I will see how the views work on it but I'm not worried you guys shouldn't worry if you were watching the views like I was because I I'm just keeping track of a good thing and seeing how it works but no um, that was sort of set 14 sort of fun awesome set and I hope you guys enjoyed the video until next time guys I've been the Silver Wolf and I'll see you all later peace